Okay, welcome to the Rock Up and Put Your Performance Tutorial on how to work your hamstrings and part of our floor work exercises. So for this uh, exercise, you can either just do with body weight um, or with just household goods or, or weights if you have them, free weights for resistance, or you can set up a resistance band behind a door. I'm using the TRX door stopper, but you can put the, um, the band through the door and then have something blocking it on the other side to create that anchor point. So initially, if we just look at the single leg glute and ham uh, thrust, you essentially want to start flat backed and raise so that your body and your hips are in a straight line. So nice and tense and you're clenching your bum at the high point. To make that harder, all you need to do is work the heel away from your body. So starting low, Again, bringing it further away makes it harder. And you should feel the burn in your leg. To make that harder, like I said, you can add household goods or weights to your hips in order to increase the intensity. But if you do have resistance bands, I prefer this exercise. So starting with the resistance band underneath the door, you want to hook it behind your heel or kind of on your Achilles nicer wearing trainers or shoes because it provides a bit of grip. So in this position you want to be lying flat on your stomach, um, head up, forehead on the ground, hands either side for stability and hips on the floor. They shouldn't lift up, you shouldn't be moving or overcompensating. You should be isolating the hamstring. Obviously you want to be pulling in a straight line and looking for that full range of motion. And you should feel a burn in the deeper part of the hamstring hamstring, bulk of the muscle. To increase the intensity, you can pull yourself away from the door. And I can, I mean, I can feel it on the red. To increase the intensity, you can either add multiple bands or get a much thicker band. Um, again, obviously coming away from the door is also uh, a method too. Also another nice addition to this is the fact that you can do two-legged curls. So face down, exactly the same principle, hips on the floor, curling towards you, and back down. I like to hold at the high point for a few seconds, tense up, and then release. Really kind of activating the glute at the high point as well. For all information on sets and reps, look in the description below.